All right, we're going to shift focus very quickly uh, to a different slice of breaking news we've got coming in. Congress leader Jagdish Taitler has been summoned for a personal appearance on August 5th. Uh, you might remember he was being investigated by the CBI in connection with the 1984 anti-Sikh riots case. And uh, I believe he has been summoned. I'll look to understand by who. I believe it's the Delhi court that has summoned him. We're going to play some reactions out for you. Take a look. करार दिया है इसमें इनवाइट किया है उसको सम्मान जारी किया है और लोकल पुलिस को लोकल पुलिस को उनको दी है जानकारी कि उनको लेके आए और 12 बजे सुबह कोर्ट में उनको लेके आने का आदेश जारी किया गया है आज हम सारे सिख से अपील करना चाहते हैं कि अपने जो सीनियर वकील हैं वो भी हमारा इस केस के अंदर साथ हैं आज जाके जो हम 45 साल से लगातार इस केस को लड़ रहे थे आज हमारे ब्लूटूथ ले लो ब्लूटूथ ले लो भेज रहा हूँ भेज रहा हूँ सर भेज रहा हूँ भेज रहा हूँ भेज रहा हूँ मेरे My colleague Ananya is with us to bring us more updates on the Congress leader's case. Let's go over to him to understand more. Ananya, over to you. Bring us context, please, on this most recent development. Ananya? All right, we'll wait to connect with my colleague Ananya. But the Delhi court has said that there is enough material to proceed on this matter. Remember, the CBI had been investigating the Congress leader they in fact, earlier this year, called him even for recording his voice sample in this case. This was all in connection with the 1984 anti-Sikh riots case in the city's Pulbangash area. Now, uh, Taitla had actually visited the CFSL, that's the Central Forensic Science Laboratory, uh, multiple times. The agency had claimed that they'd found fresh evidence in this case. This is a 39-year-old case for which they'd then said that they wanted his voice sample. Remember... Three people were allegedly killed in the riots that took place in the Pool Bangash area. Uh, these were riots that followed the assassination of the Prime Minister. Now, uh, my colleague Ananya is with us right now. He's going to bring us more details. Ananya, uh, Jagdish Taitla summoned on August 5th by the court. Bring us more details, please. Well, definitely, this is the case, uh, you know, uh, pertaining to the 1984 Sikh riots. And remember that uh, the uh, Sikh riots cases were reopened by the Supreme Court. And then uh, now the Central Bureau of Investigation had filed a supplementary charge sheet against uh, uh, Jagdish Teitler and various others in this particular case. Uh, 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 and it, uh, it includes charges of uh, writing, murder, etc. And the court today finally has taken cognizance after receiving, uh, you know, the FSL reports uh, that are mentioned along with the charge sheet. And also, you know, uh, 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 apart from that, a uh, sanction had to be, you know, taken from the court, uh, from the from the government, because at that point of time when the commission of crime had taken place, uh, Jagdish Titler was a uh, member of the parliament and, uh, and and was a lawmaker at that point of time, and that's the reason why sections under uh, one time uh, one one eighty eight have been, um, uh, you know. Uh, uh, taken by from the government by uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation. Now, uh, in fact, uh, the big uh, breaking news is that Jagdish Titler has been summoned for personal appearance on, uh, you know, uh, August 5. He will have to appear before uh, Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court. Um, this is Vidhi Gupta Anand, uh, the judge who has pronounced this order today and has summoned, uh, in fact, you know, uh, Jagdish Titler into this particular case. If I could show you right behind me are the visuals. Uh, these are the families who have been affected in the 1984 uh, 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 anti-sick that have taken place. And these are uh, the women and the people who are protesting uh, right outside the Rouse Avenue Court. They are uh, really happy uh, and in fact uh, have, you know, uh, have you know we wait, we have been waiting for uh, these uh, orders for a long time now and in fact uh, we'll also uh, try to speak to some of them uh, if at all if at all possible uh, madam aaj uh, court ne jo hai saman kar liya kis tarike se let me welcome him ha aaj jagdish titler ko saman kar diya hai court ne aa ha order kar diya hai court ne aaj hame khushi hui hai aaj hame tasalli hui hai jo aaj order di hamare din din बच्चे जलाया हमारे किसको पंद्रह साल का कोई बच्चा नहीं छोड़ा है इन्होंने इधर सरयाम कतरयाम कराया ये कोई दंगा थोड़ी होता सरयाम कतरयाम था सिर्फ किसको जलाया हमारे 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 किसको जलाया हमार क्या कर रहा था सिखों ने कुछ भी नहीं किया था इन्होंने सिखों ने सिखों के लिए बहुत मारो मारो साहब के बच्चे हैं ये बच्चे भी नहीं छोड़ो मार दो मेरा पंद्रह साल का बच्चा था 
मेरा बच्चा मार दिया मेरा हाथ परिवार गया हुआ घर का मेरा हाँ बाकी इनको फांसी लग जाए ना तो हमें भी थोड़ी तसली मिल जाए हमारे से पेट में आग डर रही है हाँ हमारे पेट में बेटा आग डर रही है हाँ so you see these families are really rejoicing uh, this order of the court in fact uh, are demanding maximum punishment against uh, jagdish titler and uh, the others involved in this particular case clearly saying that you know their children had lost their lives uh, and in fact uh, 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 much bad had happened to them in in that year when writing had taken place uh, in, uh, you know across the country and now uh, in fact especially in delhi and now uh, these families are somewhere or the other uh, finding a ray of hope in in the court's order it's it's a time that they say is of just this and uh, that would be awarded to them is what they feel so definitely a big okay. order coming right. in uh, Ananya, as far as and you just stay with us for a second hs pulga he is a, the victim's lawyer in this case he's a senior advocate he was the petitioner in the 1984 anti sikh riots case let's go over to him he's with us on the phone sir if i could first ask you to your reaction to this development sir are you able to hear us All right. Uh, we look to re-establish that connection. Senior Advocate H S Pulga. Hopefully, we do have him on the phone. He is the victim's lawyer. We saw him just for a second over there. My colleague Arunima is also with us. We'll go over to her first for more context. Then we'll go over to the lawyer who's with us. Arunima, if you could first bring us more context to these developments, please. So Jagdish Titler was facing, a, you know, a charge sheet from Central Bureau of Investigation. This case is very old; it it is almost uh, three decades old now. And yet CBI managed to piece together the case against him. The charges uh, that after Indira Gandhi's death there were riots that were orchestrated by Congress leaders, and Jagdish Titler uh, really egged the crowd on, uh, provoked them at Pul Bangla's Gurudwara of Delhi. He, in his defence, said that at the time frame that is being mentioned, where uh, you know a Sikh gentleman was killed by the mob, literally lynched. and his his widow is a is a you know key witness in this particular case titler said at that, that that particular time he was at the teen murti bhavan where indira gandhi's body was kept but cbi has managed to piece together and looks like uh, the court has uh, taken a note of of what the cbi has managed to piece together in its charge sheet and the cbi is confident that there is enough evidence that they have fifth of august we will know how this proceeds for the titler has been summoned uh, to be present in court on fifth Right, Arunima, and when it comes to the entire investigation into Jagdish Titler on April 11, the CBI collected voice samples of Titler to match with the available audio evidence in the case. Tell us more about that. There was a sting operation that had been done, which was released by the Delhi Gurudwara Prabandhak Cap Committee, and uh, that that audio tape was handed over to CBI. Uh, uh, the the Shiromani Akali Dal uh, leaders, also Delhi unit leaders, they also presented their side of the evidence to the CBI. The B Stiler was called in to match his voice sample with the person who is heard in that particular sting operation. In that sting, uh, it is alleged that Stiler is accepting about his role in the Pul Bangash uh, Gurudwara riots that happened. So that is one piece of evidence that CBI has presented to bolster its case. The other evidence includes eyewitness accounts, uh, testimonies of witnesses. Uh, who have testified about what they saw and what they heard from Titler later, many years after the crime had happened. Right.